Well, good morning, everyone. I woke up this morning. It's, uh, what, May 21st or something like that? And uh, woke up this morning to 31 degrees temperature. Uh, we had a little problem with our cold frame yesterday, uh, day before. Uh, winds got so high, you know, you remember when we built this cold frame, we it faces south, and so we can tilt the lid up. And we had some bungee cords to hold the lid, you know, in case the in case the wind wanted to pick it up and throw it back. Well, the bungee cords worked really well because the wind got so strong the other day that it held the door and the entire cold frame flipped up and was over here on the ground, exposing the soil and who knows, damaging who knows what. Well, it was so windy, I couldn't work on it and Robert's not here. Uh, so, uh, I got to get out here today while it's calm and see if we can salvage this thing and salvage whatever is growing in it. Uh, so stick with me. You know, the winds that day that this said blew over about 35 miles an hour, but you know, with this plastic on the door top and everything, the, the, the lid just became a parachute and pulled the thing clean over. We're going to have to find a way to hold this down to the ground now. And um, going forward, we're going to have to learn to compensate for the wind in just about everything we do and build. We tore the door up a little bit. We have to fix that hinge. I think we're going to have to transplant some of this stuff to the back since we haven't been able to get carrots to grow back there might as well as we thin out might as well take uh, some of this stuff and transplant it back there where and the spin spinach is this too short an area for the spinach anyway Here's one piece of the front insulation. There's another piece of it, I don't know, about 100 yards that way. <laughs> At least it was still there, then I'll go get it. to keep most of the soil intact I was wrong it was only 50 yards so <clears throat> I don't know what Robert planted in here I think she had radishes and a few kinds of lettuce and some spinach I believe this is the spinach um, I don't know what that is but uh, anyway as you can see we planted a couple of rows of carrots they're not coming up at all it's been a few weeks and uh, so I think, it, and I know carrots take longer to germinate and come up, so I may just leave those mounds alone, but as we thin out, it may be too early, I think it's too early to thin out right now, but as we thin out, I'll transplant them in that trough in between, and then uh, that way will be better, but right now I gotta get some water in this. I hadn't been watered in a couple days. So. And the wind's picking up already. <laughs> now, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I run across any kind of hardware, whether I'm taking something apart uh, or something like that, I tend to keep the screws, if they're good, if they're in good shape, screws and bolts and things like that, just to have them. Because, I mean, you know us, we got a lot of projects going all the time, like those dynahoes over there. And so, <clears throat> you know, anything we can keep. And I can't tell you how many times going to one of my organizers like this one, has been uh, good for me uh, been able to find screws well it just so happens these screws right here I pulled out of a fence that I did for that I uh, replaced for a friend uh, a long time ago and here they are and um, you know I just kept them because they were in good shape I'm so glad I have because I'm gonna use them today I gotta get a couple of pieces of rebar in the ground to stake down at least the front 
of this thing to protect it against south winds. I don't know about north winds. I mean, we do get them, but I'm thinking, I don't know. Maybe I'll stick some in there too, but I only have two of these clamps. So for now, I'll just do the, uh, the front. Anyway, we knew this is a temporary structure. But we didn't think it'd fail so quickly. <laughs> of course, we're still learning a lot about the wind here. <clears throat> Thankfully, the windy season is almost over. You know, looking at this little bracket, it reminded me of uh, something we built and gave away to uh, one of our subscribers the year before last. Uh, many of you know that Robert and I built a couple of really high quality wagons, child, you know, pull wagons or utility wagons, out of hickory. And, uh, you know, use stainless steel and other kinds of hardware on it uh, to make it really high quality. Well, we gave one away to a subscriber for Halloween, what, two years ago, a year and a half ago, something like that. And the other one was here at Contentment, stored over the winter. And uh, when they broke in and stole everything, they stole that wagon. And, uh, that may be one of the saddest things for us because we put a lot of thought and work and heart uh, into building those wagons and we really wanted the one that we had you know uh, to have around here to use for projects and it's just a handy tool to have but more than that it had a lot of sentimental value to us because it, we built it with our own hands and uh, we designed it I mean we we milled the wood for it we did everything and somebody who just doesn't really care took it and has it now and it's it's really sad for us but uh anyway no use crying over spilled milk let's go around the back and fix these hinges yeah those two wagons we built were really special we loved them and yeah.